The Carolina Panthers season opener against the New Orleans Saints turned out to be an unmitigated disaster, marked by a crushing 47-10 defeat. For fans and analysts alike, it was a sobering reminder of the gulf between pre-season optimism and on-field reality. Owner David Tepper must have been fuming as he watched his revamped Panthers team falter spectacularly. After investing heavily in new talent and a new coaching staff, expectations were high for a turnaround. However, the game against the Saints showed that such expectations might have been premature. Bryce Young, the Panthers' young quarterback and former first overall draft pick, struggled significantly. Young's performance was marked by a series of missteps, including a particularly poor interception on his first pass of the season. The struggles continued into the second half, where another ill-advised throw led to yet another interception, which the Saints converted into a touchdown. At halftime, the Panthers found themselves in a daunting 30-0 hole, a lead that only grew as the game progressed. Young's final stats, 13 completions on 30 attempts for 161 yards, with two interceptions, painted a picture of a quarterback who is still grappling with the demands of the NFL. The broader context of the Panthers' performance is even more troubling. Despite an off-season splurge of over $150 million on new players, including a significant investment in offensive linemen and skill positions, the team failed to show any substantial improvement. Coach Dave Canales, in his first game as head coach, saw his strategies unravel almost immediately, leaving questions about his long-term future with the franchise. The aftermath of such a defeat raises pressing questions about the future direction of the Panthers. With a major trade to secure young services and a significant financial commitment to bolster the team, the lackluster start to the season might lead to swift changes if the team does not show immediate signs of recovery. Tepper, known for his impatience, may not tolerate prolonged mediocrity, especially given the high stakes of the investments made. In the larger NFL landscape, the Saints' commanding victory is a statement of their own ambitions this season. With Derek Carr throwing for 200 yards and three touchdowns, the Saints demonstrated a well-rounded offensive attack that effectively dismantled the Panthers. The result underscores the challenges the Panthers face as they seek to rebound from a disappointing 2023 season and build on their off-season acquisitions. As Week 1 draws to a close, the Panthers' struggles highlight the unpredictable nature of the NFL and the difficulty of translating off-season promises into on-field success. For now, the Panthers must regroup and address their glaring issues if they hope to turn their season around and justify the considerable investments made in the pursuit of a winning formula. Stay subscribed for more videos.